Ready, set, set go! go. The Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial, which consists of 7.5 acres along the southwest side of the Tidal Basin, began on September 16, 1991, and President Clinton dedicated it on May 2, 1997. The Martin Luther King Memorial's official dedication date was August 28, 2011, the 48th anniversary of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. On October 28, 1986, Congress authorized the establishment of a memorial in Washington, D.C. to honor members of the U.S. Armed Forces who served in the Korean War. President Clinton and the Republic of South Korea President dedicated the memorial on July 27, 1995. May 30, 2022 marked the 100th anniversary of the dedication of the Lincoln Memorial. The memorial was inspired by the Parthenon in Athens, Greece, and features engravings of the Gettysburg Address and the second inaugural address, two of his greatest speeches. The World War II Memorial honors the service of 16 million members of the U.S. Armed Forces and the ultimate sacrifice of 405,000 American lives. Hey, mister. You want a picture with the Mr. Washington? Hello, how y'all doing? Good. Military, sir? Yes. Army, Marines, Navy? Air Force. There you go. Give it a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Vernon is the former plantation estate and burial location of George Washington, the American Revolutionary War General, and the first president of the United States, his wife Martha, and 20 other Washington family members. The current estate, which is open to visitors, includes a mansion, gardens, tombs, a working farm, a functioning distillery, and a grist mill, plus a museum and education center. Mount Vernon is located in Mount Vernon, Virginia, overlooking the Potomac River, about eight miles south of Alexandria. Ticket prices for adults was $26, youth six to 11 was $13, and kids five and under were free. So why 16 sides? It's the closest shape that you can get of a, of a circle without actually having to bend the wood to make a circle. So the, the, the concept is, you want, a, you want an animal to be running around here in a circle, and if, if a horse or something kind of comes to a corner, they get kind of confused and slow down and stop. So yeah, this is, this is how to make a circle without actually having to make a circle. Okay, this is what the horses did. The Washington Monument was dedicated on a chilly February 21st, 1885, one day before George Washington's birthday. Ready, set, go! go. The National Museum of Natural History's collection of 148 million specimens and artifacts tell the history of the planet and are a record of human interaction with the environment and one another. The museum is larger than 18 football fields and is home to the largest natural history collection in the world. What do you think? I feel it. You can feel your sweat. Arlington National Cemetery was formally established on June 15, 1864. Today, the cemetery encompasses 639 acres and is the resting place of approximately 400,000 active duty service members, veterans, and their families.
On March 4, 1921, the United States Congress approved the burial of an unidentified American serviceman from World War I in the plaza of the new Memorial Amphitheater. The tomb of the unknown soldier serves as a symbolic grave for all war dead whose remains have not been found or identified. The tomb began with one unknown service member from World War I and today is the grave of three unidentified service members. It holds the remains of servicemen from World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. The changing of the guard takes months to perfect but only minutes to perform. There has been a sentinel on duty in front of the tomb every minute of every day since 1937. While guarding the graves, sentinels continuously repeat a ceremonial procedure. They march 21 steps southward down the black mat behind the tomb, turn left, face east for 21 seconds, turn left, face north for 21 seconds, and take 21 steps down. The repetition of the number 21 represents the 21 gun salute, the highest military honor offered to a soldier. This procedure repeats until the changing of the guard. For 200 years, the White House has stood as a symbol of the presidency, the United States government, and the American people. Construction began when the first cornerstone was laid in October of 1792. Although President Washington oversaw the construction of the house, he never lived in it. It was not until 1800, when the White House was nearly completed, that its first residence, President John Adams and his wife Abigail, moved in. The White House has a unique and fascinating history. It survived a fire at the hands of the British in 1814, and another fire in the West Wing in 1929.